We have got an Irishman tonight with Sir Terry. We have a Scot with Charlene. I'm a Welshman, which means, according to BBC guidelines, we now have to have an Englishman. Uh, we've checked his passport. Please welcome the brilliant Hal Cruttenden. <laughs> Thank you very much. Thank you. Uh, lovely. It is lo lovely to be here. I, I should start by apologising for one thing, if you don't know me. Um, I, my voice doesn't go with my body. <laughs> See, I've, I've, I've got the body of, like, you know, sloppy blokey bloke. Voice of a little camp man. <laughs> I can't help thinking there's a little camp man out there somewhere with the voice I should have had. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Mincing about, going, all right. <laughs> <laughs> You're looking for trouble. Oh, yeah. hey. Do you want a slap? It's hard being a tubby man, isn't it? We've got tubby men here. Hey. <laughs> a little little pool of low self-esteem. Hey, yes, brothers together. Oh, it's a nightmare, isn't it? We know we're tubby, don't we? Yes. Yeah. Oh dear. And there's a woman. <laughs> I thought you were a woman. You look exactly like a woman. <laughs> yes. <laughs> No, but no, but men. Do you know why men know? Men know because their male friends tell them as soon as they put on weight. Women never tell each other, do you? You don't know. That's why big women dress that way. But, um, <laughs> but men know precisely. I put on weight. I walk into a bar. My male friends are going, "Oi, fatty!" <laughs> by some unwritten law of masculinity, I have to respond by going, "Hey!" <laughs> hey look at that! I'm dying inside. Hey, watch my tits wobble. <laughs> my heart is breaking. <laughs> women aren't like that, are they? Women aren't. You never see a group of women surrounding the fat girl singing Who Ate All the Pies. <laughs> but that's, that, that's the way men bond, isn't it? Men bond by destroying each other. <laughs> no, e even men I don't know enjoy giving me bad news. I had a builder outside my house seriously did this the other day. Go, yeah, see that crack, mate? See that crack in your wall? Yeah? That whole thing's got to be re-rendered. Whole thing's got to be redone. It's going to cost you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> now, he, he'd, he'd already annoyed me. He's one of these builders who come to give you an estimate of a problem and make that problem worse. So he's feeling the wall. Go, yeah, feel, look, the damp, it's appalling, mate. That's chronic. Look, I put a little knife in, yeah? Watch it crumble. Look at the plaster, yeah? Look at the plaster fall away from your wall. Look at the size of that hole in your wall. Yeah, that hole wasn't there when you arrived. It's massive, isn't it? <laughs> Nobody else does that, do they? You know, doctors don't go, I think you've got brittle bones, mate. I do. And then stamp on your... <laughs> see that, mate? Your leg was like a twig. Do you see that? <laughs> I think you've got a dodgy heart as well. I do. <laughs> Boom! See, you're having a heart attack. <laughs> I want to be tougher. I want to be, I want to be a tougher comic. You know, this kind of edgy, political-style comic, stick it to the man, bring down the government style. But I can't quite... Yeah, yeah, thank you, sister. Together, well do it. But I can't quite be bothered to do the reading. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> no, that's most of us. If we're honest, most of us, very angry, but we're not sure why. Oh. <laughs> I'm the, I mean, I, 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 but politics is frightening as well. Let's be you know, current affairs, terrifying. Uh, terrorism. That, I'm always, I'm the worst for that. My mum phoned me recently to tell me a distant relative had been killed by Alzheimer's. And my first thought was, who the hell are they? <laughs> and <I'm not> <laughs> then what a brilliant terrorist group that would be, wouldn't it? <laughs> we are Alzheimer's. We have left a bomb on the... Um, no, uh, shoot. No, damn, uh... Mm. We'll call you back. <laughs> oh. Thank you very much. You have been absolutely lovely. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. 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 Thank Thank you. I was just saying, you are the only Englishman here tonight. He's like a mini rainbow nation. <laughs> yes, well, I, I, I live in, in a similar situation. My, my wife's actually, she's, she's Northern Irish. She's not, she's not got the lovely 
I mean, I'm not being rude about Northern Irish people. It's not. It's a. It's a scary accent, isn't it? It's, I mean, she's trying to be loving. She scares me. It's like, you know, Carl, I love you very much. Okay, great. Thanks a lot. Cheers. <laughs> I want to spend the rest of my life with you. Okay, we'll do that. <laughs> I feel safe when I'm with you. <laughs> That's ironic. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Hal Crutchenden.